Good morning, everyone. My name is Jin Young Koo, and I'm from DIGIST. In this paper, we'd like to propose a new file system through in Instruge indexing. First, I will introduce the key idea of this study. Storage device performance has increased significantly in recent years. Traditional block-based file systems, however, are not generating enough requests to utilize this high performance. In presenting Kevin, we argued that a key value interface between a file system and a device is superior to the legacy block interface. Kevin combines a lightweight file system with a smarter key value storage device with in storage indexing capability. As a result, Kevin can exploit the high performance of the, of the device efficiently. We measure the performance of ext4 to see the bottleneck of a traditional file system. As a baseline, we ran random read-write benchmarks to the SSD, which is directly accessed without a file system, and we can see that the performance scales. However, metadata-intensive workload on, under ext4 shows show almost no scaling in performance. The AppSync intensive workloads far mail also doesn't scale well either. These results indicate that we cannot increase the overall I.O. performance simply by adopting a faster SSD. What leads to this file system's bottleneck? File systems manage metadata and free space by using inodes, disk pointers, directory entries, and bin maps to abstract files over block devices. It also has to support crash consistency to prevent corruption. However, they incur additional I.O. overhead. They not only involve extra I.O.s and data transfers over the host interface, but they also cause file fragmentations and journaling I.O.s. We argue that the use of the traditional block interface is the fundamental limitation. Blocks do not vary in size, and atomic city is only provided by per block granularity. With such a simple interface, it becomes a burden to the file system. The file system has to index files and directories of, over blocks and manage blocks for free space management. It also has to ensure consistency over multiple blocks. This fundamental limitation led us to explore other types of interfaces. Many prior studies have explored other types of interfaces. Extended block interfaces cooperate with the device to perform few functionalities such as journaling. By offloading such tasks to the device, it can reduce the amount of traffic between the file system and the device for crash consistency, reducing the overhead for journaling. However, as it is still based on a block interface, it doesn't resolve all the problems at once. DevApp has proposed file interface which moved the file system to the device and made the device to provide file level access to the host. This forces our file operation to be done inside the storage device, thus greatly, greatly reducing the data traffic between the host and the device. While this resolves the IR bottleneck from the traditional host file system, it adds a high cost to the underlying device to implement advanced functionalities like snapshot. We propose Kevin based on key value interface to improve IO performance and efficiency. Kevin SSD exposes key value objects through in storage indexing to the host, and the host uses these to implement a file system. The storage device only has to index simple key value objects and is more cost effective than file system SSD. The Kevin file system abstracts files and directory by mapping key value objects. The data transfer for indexing key value objects occurs in storage which greatly reduces the host file system's traffic. Therefore, the file indexing and crash consistency overhead from traditional file systems are removed. I will now talk about how the file system and SSD works under Kevin. To provide compatibility with virtual file system, KevinFS maps files and directories to key value objects and translates project system calls to key value comments. Kevin SSD handles the indexing of key value objects that were sent from the file system. Kevin SSD also supports transaction to provide atomicity over multiple key value objects. Kevin FS makes use of this to provide file system consistency with low I/O delays. Next, I will talk about how Kevin FS translates file operation to key value objects 
and how Kevin SSD indexes key-value objects over the NAND flash. Kevin FS employs two simple on-disk structures. We use the inode number-based key naming for mapping. This reduces the length of a key, which is ideal for Kevin SSD's LSM3 algorithm, and provides lower mapping overhead as opposed to full-path-based naming. This image shows the file system's hierarchy, and the number below the file name is the inode number. First, each file and directory has its own meta object. The key in a meta object starts with the prefix m and includes the parent inode number and file name. For example, the file catch key is m, m, 50, and cat. The value, in met, the value in a meta object holds the file information. Next, a regular file contains one data object and it stores the file's contents. The key of a data object starts with the prefix D and the file's inode number. Here, Kevin does not allocate a data object when the target is a directory, such as a directory entry. Next, I will explain how a file operation is translated into keyboard commands. This table shows the matching key value commands on a given system call. Compared to the traditional block interface, KevinFS is, is much more lightweight and incurs no extra IOs related to metadata such as binmap. Here is an example. To create a file named fish under the pet directory, KevinFS write a new meta object using the set command. As I mentioned before, the key for the the key for this meta object holds the parent child node number. When a write system call is executed, KevinFS writes a new data object using the file's inode number as the key. I've mentioned that there are no data objects for directory management, so to read, to read the path directory, KevinFS uses the iterate command. The iterate command uses the prefix m and the directory's inode number to take meta objects of subfiles. After the iterate command, the meta objects of files under the path directory are returned. KevinFS only performs file operation on meta and data objects. This simple architecture greatly reduces the file system's metadata, metadata traffic. Now the question is how are key value objects mapped to net flash pages? Kevin SSD virtualizes key value objects over NAND flash. Kevin SSD uses LSM3 to index key value objects. With our LSM3's key value separation, keys are sorted inside key pages and values are logged to value pages. The values inside the log are pointed by a key. Kevin SSD indexes meta and data objects separately. As mentioned before, meta objects' keys are sorted and values are logged to other pages. In case of a data object, one object is divided by sub-objects with 4K values. This allows us to read and write a specific part of a huge object. A sub-object key contains the data object's key and the block number. Here, we can see that the meta object's key for a given directory are sorted by parent child node number. Also, a file's sub-object keys is sorted by the file's inode number within the same page. As you may have noticed, meta object's keys are similar to directory entries, and data object keys are similar to disk pointers. Kevin SSD processes key value commands with less NAND flash access thanks to the sorted key. Returning to the previous example, KevinFS submits the iterate command to read the path directory. At this point, the child file's meta object keys are sorted within the same page and thus are accessible by just one disk read. This type of key sorting is done periodically with compaction operation in LSM3. In summary, KevinSSD performs file system friendly key value object mapping. It always sorts the object keys which represent directory entries and this pointer by compaction and thus handles the request efficiently. Therefore, Kevin shows more favorable performance when it comes to file system staging and metadata fragmentation. Note that the LSM3 algorithm performs indexing which causes IO overhead. 
We have proposed optimizations such as key compression, filtering, and caching to, imidi- to mitigate LSM tree's compaction and tree manage- management overhead. For more information, please refer to our paper. To provide lightweight crash consistency, we make use of the in storage transaction capability. For example, the only compilation covers two delete comments, and if it crashes between them, the file system state can become inconsistent. For the consistency, KevinFS wraps multiple key value comments into one transaction. KevinSSD handles this transaction automatically, which allows KevinFS to guarantee atomicity per each, co- each system call. KevinFS doesn't incur any extra journaling IOs thanks to transaction. Again, for more information, please refer to our paper. Now, I, I would like to show the experiment results. KevinFS is implemented on top of Linux kernel version 4.15, and KevinSST is implemented on an FPGA board with real NAND flash hardware. The objectives of this experiment are to prove the following. How does Kevin perform under met- metadata intensive workloads? Is Kevin resilient to fermentation? And finally, how does Kevin perform under epsync intensive workloads? For additional research not shown in the presentation, please check our paper. We compared Kevin with traditional file systems using the block interface. In metadata intensive workloads, we can see up to 6.2 times improvement by uploading the indexing capability to the device. Even in the case of file systems I.O. traffic, we can see that the amount of metadata I.O. is greatly reduced. We also conducted an aging test by writing five times more data than the total device capacity. In write intensive workloads, Kevin shows less performance, deg- performance degradation compared to ext 4 In read intensive workloads, ext 4s performance keeps degrading, while Kevin shows consistent performance thanks to King Compaction. For real workloads with lots of epsync calls, there were improvements of 68% on average thanks to the in-storage transaction support. We can also see that the I/O overhead from double journaling is eliminated. In conclusion, Kevin resolved the fundamental limitation of the block interface by offloading operations to the storage device and using a richer key value interface. To achieve this, KevinFS performs key value translations and KevinSSD performs in storage indexing as well as provide support for transaction. As a result, we saw a sharp decrease in metadata traffic resulting in performance improvements across a variety of workloads. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Please contact me via email if you have any questions.